Hello, this is Howard Cooper from Rapid Change Works, and I want to ask you a question. Could you be a confident person who just feels anxious from time to time? What about, could, could you be an anxious person who kind of feels confident at times? Hmm. Now, the reason I'm asking you this is I don't think it's probably true to label yourself as any of these things. I think human beings have a capacity to feel confident at times and to feel anxious at times or to get stressed or to feel happy or to feel sad. And one of the really big problems is, is that if we have a transient experience and then kind of mark that out as that, that one, that's who we are then we kind of close off our mind to exploring, well, maybe we're much more than just a passing or transient thought. I mean, think of it this way, and I know it sounds ridiculous, but consider this. Imagine you're going out on a typical British day and you look up at the weather, and uh, it, it, a typical British day, obviously, is sunny in the morning, then snowing in the afternoon, then some wind, some hail, some storms, and so on. But if you go out when there's a storm coming over, would it be really odd to look up and go, ah! You see this storm that I can see, I'm aware of? I am stormy. That's me, I am stormy. I'm a stormy person. Well, that would be odd, but, but bear with me. Would it be even more ridiculous if the storm cloud passes and the sun comes out, but you carry on saying to people, I am stormy. I am a stormy individual. Yeah, that would be even more ridiculous, right? But what if you kept saying it, I am stormy, I am stormy, I am stormy, and you just kind of ignored the sun and ignored the rain and ignored the other changing weather, and then eventually when another storm came along, you pointed up at it and went, you see, I am. That wouldn't really mean you were stormy, it would just mean that you're filtering out all of the other stuff and using the only times that the storm is coming to add narrative, but the reality is if you're aware of the storm, you can't be it. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this is that I think we need to be really careful about how we label ourselves and how we think of ourselves. So as I joked at the beginning, can you be a confident person who has anxiety from time to time? And what's the difference, really, between someone who's confident, who does anxiety, and someone who's anxious, who does confidence from time to time? Or maybe we're just all in a state of flux. And I was invited by someone, contacted out the blue on Facebook, contacted by someone who um, invited me to join their f Facebook forum, their Facebook group that was designed to support other people. And um, listen, I'm not going to mention the name of this group, but I had a deep problem with the title. Uh, and I've got no problem with the intention of the group. The intention of the group is to, of course, give help and support for people who are really struggling. But the group bothered me, the group title. Um, and uh, it was called something along the lines of, and I'm, I'm deliberately not giving you the, the real name here, but it was called something along the lines of Shattered Essence. In other words, it was a name that invited them to look at the very essence of who they were. Wow, I can hear my kids in the background. Um, the very essence of who they were, as though it was deeply flawed or shattered or broken or unsalvageable. Now, I'm all for having support groups where we give people good quality help and support, but I think one where they even have to, in order to, to join, you have to identify with the label of deep down, I'm totally shattered and broken. I really don't think it's helping people or serving people. So that's just a thought that I'd like to, uh, I wanted to share with you all. Um, talking about Facebook and, and these sorts of themes, I, I got involved in a discussion a little while ago on an anxiety forum. Uh, it was, sorry, it was an anxiety and depression forum, and someone had posted this question. What do I do, or what should I do, when my depression puts up the thought, I'm worthless and life is shit? And a bunch of people were commenting underneath things like, don't worry, hun, you'll be all right. Think positive. It's going to be fine. You're worthwhile. You're a wonderful human being. Life is great. But... I, I kind of took to my keyboard, and I'm not always a keyboard warrior, but there we go. And I took to my keyboard and I, and I posted this in response. Let me ask you a different question, I said. What should you do when your happiness 
puts up the thought, life is wonderful and I'm great. And her response was just amazing. She wrote back and said, don't be ridiculous, Howard. Those ones are just thoughts. And right there and then the whole thing is kind of exposed because what we're really saying is she's got some thoughts like I'm worthless and life is rubbish and just becoming very absorbed in those. And then on the other hand, she's having thoughts that are like passing weather going like sunny thoughts, you know, I'm great, life is wonderful. And instead of going, ah, that could be me too, or better still, none of these are me. She's kind of getting really absorbed into those. So this is a, a, just a gentle reminder to be aware of, or, or become more aware perhaps of, what labels do you, are you identifying with? And more importantly, what labels or what thoughts that are emerging that you're going, no, no, those ones are just thoughts. But actually, you could also look at all of them as just thoughts. Um, this is stuff that we're going to be exploring in much more detail uh, over, uh, I've got a 12 week Corona Anxiety Support Group, uh, and it starts on Monday. So if this interests you and being able to see where this all fits in and seeing through the illusion of thought fits in with how you can better cope uh, with uh, corona anxiety or lockdown overwhelm or the stresses and strains of these uncertain times, then please do get in touch and let me know. It'd be great to have you uh, on board. It's uh, massively, I've done it at a massively affordable rate, huge reduce from what I normally charge. And uh, it's also free for health and social care workers. So it'd be great to see you there.